Well, Terry, I know you are probably chomping at the bit to get out and golf a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never been a golfer, but there is one version of the game I am pretty good at. Yeah, let me guess. Mini golf? Yeah. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> I actually really love to play mini golf, too. It helps your putting, right? Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. But I promise you, the mini golf I'm about to show you is nothing like anything that you have ever seen. It actually has an artistic twist. Take a look. Everybody knows about the game of golf, right? But uh, right here at the Urban Institute of Contemporary Arts, it's taken a unique and even a bit of a strange twist, like uh, a ladle as a putter. We were talking with Phil Mead of the UICA, and what exactly is this? This is called 19 Holes. Yep, um, it's basically uh, a mini golf course uh, at UICA designed by artists. Uh, there's 19 different holes. Some of them are designed by businesses. Some of them are designed by artists. There's different classrooms from like Kendall College that designed holes. So there's just a, a really good range of, of different like unique miniature golf holes, and it's just in a kind of a fun environment at UICA. Mm -hmm. so. It seems like you didn't put a lot of rules on this. I see you've got some upside down holes and exactly. stacked up. I think this is really challenging, Phil. Yeah, uh, it's definitely, we, we didn't want to have very many limitations to what the artists could do. So people really got creative and uh, some of them are really difficult. Uh, there's a hole that's actually a body and you're going through the digestive system <laughs> of a body. There's uh, this hole which is like you're using a unique material to like hit the ball across. Mm -hmm. um, there's different holes like with Wolverine Worldwide where you're actually using a shoe to hit your ball uh, to the like the hole. So it's just kind of a really unique kind of fun uh, experience. Mm -hmm. You were telling me that this is something that other contemporary um, organizations, museums have been trying out. Yeah, it's, it's been somewhat of a trend in the last few years. Uh, contemporary art museums doing these artist designed mini golf courses. Um, the Walker in Minneapolis mm -hmm. um, has done one for the last couple of years and they had a six month long uh, exhibition where they had like over 25,000 people come through. So it's really kind of been a successful uh, type of thing that these contemporary art museums have been doing. So with Laugh Fest coming, we just thought like, let's get, on, get in on this and um, really do something that would cause laughter and really be lighthearted mm -hmm. and uh, fun for families and, and people to come and see. Yeah, and engage artists, which the UICA does so yeah, well. exactly. So how many different artists took part in 19 Holes? Well, with the with the different classes and the organizations, we had like over 50 artists working, wow. on, working on these holes um, for the 19 different holes, so. Yeah, and it really is a creative uh, testament to the game of golf. So let's meet one of the artists that took part. So we're here with Steve Sampson who collaborated on the 19th hole. Steve, what's the name of your piece and what inspired you? The name of this piece is April Shower and I collaborated with Jeff Mewson on it and we just wanted to put together the 19th hole that was fun and wacky and colorful and we were we went to a dollar store and a lot of our inspiration came from buying things for a dollar. <laughs> it went into it, like well, the toilet plunger. Yeah. And the bath mats. And the bath mats and the foam flowers. And the loofas. And the umbrellas and the buckets and everything. Okay, so how does this work exactly? So this hole starts a little differently. You take mm -hmm. your golf ball and you put it into one of these tubes and then and then you get onto the gutting the putting green and start putting away. Nice. A little bit of a challenge I hear. It's a little bit of a challenge. It's supposed to be a par four, but depending upon which hole you select at the end determines what your par score is because you can subtract two or you can add one to your par. It's fun. Okay, sounds great. So if you're looking to have some fun, get a little golfing in, although summer hasn't arrived yet, come to the UICA's 19 holes. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, now when we play miniature golf, up. we always mm -hmm. have to have ice cream at the end. So come on, <laughs> confession time, Rach. Any, any ice cream down there? <laughs> Definitely a lot of places you can get ice cream, but uh, I could recommend them. Just a few blocks from there, like Grand Central Market, uh, the Java place mm -hmm. down there, oh, close yeah. by. That's the yeah. tradition in the And the weather's family. changing, too, oh, yeah. making it perfect for that. Yeah. So 19 holes will be open through the end of the month at the UICA. As we mentioned, it is part of Laugh Fest. So some of the proceeds 
will benefit Gildas Club Grand Rapids. Plus, this Saturday, you're going to want to mark your calendar. Okay. March 19th, there will be a family fun day from 12 to 4. You can play mini golf and then design a hole of your own in a free hands-on workshop. Wow, that sounds great. Well, if you'd like to check out 19 holes, it costs $8 for non-members to play, $6 for members. Kids between 5 and 12 years old pay $5, and children 4 and under are free. The UICA is located at 41 Sheldon Boulevard in Grand Rapids, and they are closed on Mondays. Isn't it great? I just love the energy in downtown Grand Rapids, and that's just one more example of just that vibe that really is coming alive. Because it's about laughter, and it's all positive. Yeah, and about and fun. so fun to oh, see. Yeah. yeah.